this fun being on a cruise ship. I used to do a show for a company that makes sprinklers for your lawn. But well, they were a great crowd. They clap like this. <laughs> One guy in the back, Rachel. <laughs> hey. Yeah, fun today. It was a beautiful day. I saw some girls wearing G-string bikinis upstairs. Man, do you like the G-string bikinis? <laughs> you know, there used to be a time if you wanted to see a lady's real rand, you had to move her bathing suit out of the way. Now, if you want to see a lady's bathing suit, you have to move her real rand. <laughs> Stars and Stripes Speedo Speedo Bikini thing. He turned around, I was like, oh shit, he's got the flagpole too. <laughs> I didn't just see that. <laughs> I could never wear one of those things. I'm too body conscious. I work out a lot, but I just found I found one of my old DVDs, one of my old workout DVDs from the 90s, Buns of Steel. Remember that? Oh, I also had the sequel, Balls of Iron. <laughs> Now I'm looking for a girl with lips of magnets. <laughs> I, I used to go out with an Amish girl from Pennsylvania. Oh, breaking up was so easy. Hey, uh, I'll call you. <laughs> They don't have telephones. <laughs> I was on a ship once. There were two Amish people on the ship, folks. I am not making this up. I'm not make, doing anything religious. I'm not knocking anyone's beliefs. But uh, I didn't know this, but there are different levels of, uh, of Amishness, <laughs> if you will. And these people were from an order where you were allowed to go out on a cruise. And guy had suspenders and a big straw hat, a beard with no mustache, and the lady had a thing on her head with a long gown, and they were cruising just like you. I was wondering, how did they get down from Amish country down to Miami to board the ship? All right, honey, we're almost there. <laughs> well, five more days. <laughs> getting freaking buggy mile. I hate fighting with a woman. Guys, I'm sure you've experienced this. You're fighting with your lady. She's going. <laughs> Suddenly the phone rings. Hello. I'm <laughs> oh, sure he's right here. It's for you, asshole. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I don't get. I don't get the polygamy thing. I was watching news and they had this polygamist on board and the guy, uh, the guy, man had three wives and he's bragging about it on TV. I got me three wives! Why in the world would any man want three wives? <laughs> oh, do you walk in the door? Hi ladies, I'm home. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? <laughs> I was working late. Bullshit! 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 <laughs> Give me money. Take me to dinner. Do I look fat in this? <laughs> I never got it. Do you fight over little things or big things? All things. I never, whenever a fight, you know, you know what I do? Like, do, do you fight about the toilet seat being up or the toilet seat being down? Yeah, neither do I. You know why? I, I just pee in the sink. If you're gonna have a fight, have a fight about something real. And we have people married for 50 years. That's amazing. Are you still romantic? Do you still exchange? Uh... No. <laughs> Awkward. Somebody call Judge Wapner right now. <laughs> You guys are married so long, when your wife tells, when your wife talks to you about BJ's, you know she means a wholesale club. <laughs> Honey, BJ's? Oh, right, let me get the membership card. <laughs> yes, sir. You're going on and on, and we met our new friends here just this evening. Been married three weeks. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I 
now and live in New York and come down. <laughs> Let me talk to you. You married 50 years. You're still you're 50 years, and you still exchange birthday cards, anniversary cards. That's wonderful. Here's the difference between a man and a woman buying cards for each other. Like he's a, a woman buying like an anniversary card for her husband. To my wonderful man, happy anniversary. I'm so happy we're sharing our lives together, and I look forward to many future years of happiness. I love this card. I'm gonna buy it for my man. Here's a man buying a card for his lady. $2.99. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> Give me one now and another one next year. I'm Colombian, Italian, and Jewish. I can make you a drug deal offer you can't refuse wholesale. <laughs> My real name is Carlos. <laughs> yes, it's actually Carlos Eduardo Guerra Burgos Alvarezza de la Valle de la Vega. <laughs> but uh, you can call me Chuck. <laughs> My dog's name is Rover Fido Rex Ruff de la Taco Bell Chichihuahua. That's a popular name for a Spanish man, Carlos. You know what a popular name for a Spanish woman is besides Maria? Concepcion. <laughs> it means conception. You know, what did they name their other kids? Oh, this is my son, you to this. <laughs> my twins, for opium tools. <laughs> Have you met my wife, Placenta? Honey! <laughs> I got a lot of Colombian relatives living in Miami. Shocker! We went out fishing with one of them. You ever go fishing with a Colombian from Miami? It is a fish. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Vamos. You ever go fishing with a Jewish man? Hey, fish! Come out of the water! I'll give you a dollar! <laughs> I went to a Jewish Mexican wedding. Only in Miami, Florida can you go to a Jewish Mexican wedding. People walking around singing, Have a tequila. <laughs> Four months ago, I went on a ship from Fort Lauderdale, and I got off three nights later in a city called Cartagena, where my mother's from, and then I flew back to Miami. And do you know what happens when your name is Carlos and you're traveling by yourself on a one-way ticket from Colombia to Miami? Do you know what happens? U.S. Customs gives you a free prostate check. And I'm okay. His name is Jack. He drives a Porsche. I'm also part Italian. We have Italians, I heard, yes? Right. You know my favorite Italian is a guy named uh, Jacuzzi. <laughs> He's the guy who invented the Jacuzzi. He named it after himself. What a great name for that product. What if the guy were like Polish or Jewish? You know, life at the gym would sound different. You know, after my workout, I'm gonna take a nice long hot soak in the Kowalski. <laughs> hey, happy anniversary, honey. Let's get naked, get some champagne, cause uh, I wanna do you in the Ficklestein. <laughs> I, uh, Italians crack me up because they eat pasta. And I love pasta, but there's different types. But there's spaghetti, there's elbow macaroni, there's bow tie pasta, right? There's penne pasta. Guess what? It's all the same shit. <laughs> At its core, it's flour mixed with water and salt and olive oil. They call it, they call it different things, but it's still pasta. I had an Italian friend of mine over for dinner. Hey, you want some spaghetti? Oh, I hate spaghetti. You got a linguine? <laughs> about going to Italy was watching the Italian Neck. I grew up in Queens, if you're familiar with New York, I grew up in Queens, like near Shea Stadium, and then out of Long Island, where this guy's from, and, uh, and all the Italian guys I knew were like, hey, call, hey, we're gonna go to the ball later, I'll call you, right? Yeah, kind of like this guy right here, folks. He's like, a little bit like the Sopranos, <laughs> right? But then you go to Italy, and you see the real, the real Italian men, and they're all very cool. They're all very suave. They're all ladies' men. They're all like... <laughs> Hello, my beautiful American pumpkin. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Gelato Frappuccino. <laughs> 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 You're very beautiful. I must have you. <laughs>
Well, what is your name, baby? You are much so beautiful, I must look at him, please. <laughs> hello, Egan. <laughs> Egan, hello, my name is Gelato Frappuccini Alacante. <laughs> Can I show you my Wi-Fi hotspot? <laughs> Egan, we'd like to find out why they call this ship The Bliss. <laughs> Where are you from? You have a ride home. <laughs> you can look at me when I talk. Do oh. you know what you call a man who's handsome, intelligent, sensitive, and a great lover? A rumor. <laughs> you can look at me. Oh. Do you know what I love about American women? Oh. Uh, they, they don't have mustaches. <laughs> this is my friend, Pepperoni Parmigiani. <laughs> We call him Pee Pee for short. Uh, not short Pee Pee. Pee Pee for short. And look at all these beautiful ladies out there. Hello, beautiful ladies. My name is Gelato Frappuccino. I can do one shade of gray. That's all you need. There's actually a crew bar on the ship, isn't that cool? Yeah, and, and men, you know those, those cute ladies you see working on the ship? If they're from all over the world, they all hang out in the crew bar later. And it's really cool because I've been told to go fuck off in 20 different languages. <laughs> and it all sounds the same. <laughs> Women from the Philippines, like, I'm fuck off! Women from the Ukraine, who's the snake, a sneaker, like at the back of, fuck off! <laughs> Woman from the island of Jamaica, no problem, man. <laughs> I read this article in Men's Health magazine. They said you can tell the average size of a very particular part uh, of a man's anatomy by doubling the size of his thumbs. Is that true? Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? Because <laughs> I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Well, you've been a lot of fun. Thank you.